Hi, I'm PC Yasmin Mogra, uh, currently an immediate response officer at Preston. So being an immediate response officer is basically attending emergency response calls um, from 999 calls that are made from the control room and it can vary from somebody having a fight in the street to somebody wanting to commit suicide. It could be somebody in distress, uh, a burglary. Um, you generally don't know what you're going to from day to day um, and that's probably the most exciting thing of the job. Um, I don't know what I'm going to come into that shift. Um, the other side to the immediate response officer that people don't realise is you carry a caseload so when you go to that domestic incident and you've helped that victim you then have to put the file together um, lock up the offender interview the offender and take that case to cps um, you might impose bail conditions on that so that's then a 28 day period for you to then do those actions that cps um, ask you to do which might be house to house inquiries uh, cctv trawling so Although you are driving around blue lights, um, attending emergency incidents, you are also helping victims still carrying a caseload. So it's a bit of a mixture. Challenges that I face in my job, um, there's quite a few. So on a day-to-day -day basis, it's the not knowing what you're going to turn up to. Um, the challenge that you're going to be on your own potentially. Um, it's very busy. A lot of the time you are single crewed, but there is always backup there for you. Um, not knowing how you're going to deal with a certain situation when you get there, being responsible for maybe someone's welfare, making sure that they're safeguarded. Um, that's quite a big challenge. Um, making sure you document everything and that it gets shared with the right people, um, particularly if you are referring them to multi-agency safeguarding hub. Um, you've got to put the right detail in there. Um, other challenges is the demand, um, especially at Preston, it's very, very busy. Uh, it's knowing how to manage your workload, manage your time, manage your welfare as well. Um, going from job to job can sometimes burn you out, so you have got to learn to maybe let someone else take that job um, if you've got paperwork to do. Um, it's a lot of spinning plates. Um, carrying a caseload, you have to manage your your time on your work and your cases and making sure that you get all your investigations done and sorted so it is a challenging role but that's kind of what I like about it, it keeps me on my toes. Why I do my job? Um, I can't say all the time that you love it because it is difficult um, there is a lot of pressure and it is a, it is a tricky job to do um, but I enjoy helping people um, and knowing that when, when you've been to a job um, and you have made a tiny little difference to somebody, that is the best part of the job. Um, if somebody takes a moment to say, actually you were alright, you, you've given me advice or you've helped me, even if you've locked someone up, you have to treat them with respect and at the end of that process it's nice to hear from a suspect that says, actually you've been all right with me all, all the way through the process. Um, I like it because it's challenging, uh, I get bored in your standard office job, um, you are out and about, driving about, driving blue lights, that's fun, um, get to avoid traffic jams, um, but you're not stuck in one place at one time, um, you could be on a bed watch in hospital with a mental patient, you could be helping a child um, who's gone missing, um, helping a victim that's been a victim of domestic abuse, you never know what you're going to be doing from day to day. Um, I also like that it's a team mentality, you're not on your own, you are part of a team and that team goes through the same things that you go through, so yeah, it's really, really good, especially when morale's high as well.